Hey, welcome to Mesa RC. I'm Mr. Marshall. I got Stormy here. And uh, Stormy's bringing uh, one of our newest planes to our store. Let's see him. How does that look? Mm, nah. What about that one? Mm, no. Is pretty good? No. What about that? Wow. All right! <laughs> Okay, so Stormy, what do you got? What is this thing? It's the final prototype for the MF Eclipse. It's not a prototype anymore. Right? Or not a prototype. It is the product, product, the model for your final. Yep. So all those prototypes that we chucked over there, you went through probably more than those three planes that we had, right? Didn't you have like four or five more? Or was that it? That was it. That was it? Yeah. Oh, good job. <laughs> Look at this thing, this thing is awesome! And so Stormy wanted to uh, leave her impact on Mesa RC uh, forever and actually create a product. And um, you came uh, with your first prototype and how'd that go? Um, it was interesting. I mean, it flew pretty well and it was floating and everything, but I just wanted to change the look of it and make it more curvy. Yeah, and it was the big, the big takeaway from our first prototype, and it worked awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a lot of fun to fly. Um, the big takeaway was it, it felt like it, it still wasn't yours. Yeah. You know, it still had a little bit of Ashton's touch to it. Mm -hmm. um, and that was the design that you worked with was Ashton's Typhoon. Yep. And so you came up with kind of your own little theme now with these swept back um, stabilizers and mm -hmm. uh, the, you know, doubling it up. You took the whole back out here. Yeah. <laughs> made it lighter. And then uh, what else did you do to it? I mean, you did more. So I changed the nose completely because before it had two little parts here and it didn't have this little velcro strap and so I also designed this piece from scratch. And How I was that? With that? It was, I actually got it on my first try. I didn't get this part just because that came later. Yeah. But just like designing the front, got it on my first try so I was excited about that. So when you're looking at this, this is all one piece and so what, what's cool about Stormy's design, same uh, little pin clip here, when it opens up, all her Electronics comes out so that you can, you know, uh, tend to the battery, move it up for, for different CGs, uh, maybe even putting some more gear on there. But check this out. I mean, she did an amazing job on her nose piece. Um, and when you did the build video, it went all together perfect. Mm -hmm. And uh, it came out pretty cool. It came out really, really cool. Um, I actually like it better than the ones that we have. It almost <laughs> makes me want to go back and yeah, tell the kids to redesign it so that it's all one piece. Um, one of the um, not a complaint, but a just a suggestion by a lot of our, our customers to the kids is that 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 canopy is extremely difficult to do. Mm -hmm. And so you took away the whole canopy yeah. piece and just made it all in one. Because on the first one I tried to do that and there were huge gaps. Yeah. It, layer. it was, it looks awesome. And you did another change on the back side, right? Oh yeah, I um, entirely took this piece out. It would come over. Um, and go all the way back, but I took this area out so it just has these two parts. And um, since I changed the wing, I also changed the base of it and made it wider. Yeah, and it's a lot stronger too, based mm -hmm. from the prototype that we talked about. This is this right here lightens it up a lot and, and uh, gives the motor some breathing room because you wanted to lower the motor. Mm -hmm. So on the original Typhoon, Ash's motor was way up on the top here. And so yeah. she pretty much chopped this canopy down. And then you did something really cool. If you look right here, Daniel, you'll see that she has little inserts for the side panels of the motor mount. Um, and so that was something that you had to figure out too, because mm -hmm. in your first um, prototype, you kind of jimmy rig something. Yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> yeah, and so we want to try to stay away from jimmy rigging anything mm -hmm. um, so that customers have a, a clean um, uh, build. But no, this thing came out amazing, and uh, you should be really proud of yourself. This will be um, at the stores at AltitudeHobbies.com, and uh, this will be the newest selection, and hopefully we'll break some records. Yeah. This, this is too cool looking. Um, any takeaways? What are you going to go, I mean, now that you got a product done, you've got like two months left, what do you plan to do before you head off to high school? Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe I could practice flying more and try to get top ace. Ooh, I don't nice. think I have time to design a new plane. 
So practicing flying, so it's similar time. Yeah. This is definitely, I think you're gonna have a good chance with this one to get top ace, and that'll be, that'll be pretty sweet. Yeah. So uh, look for Stormy in the future to uh, challenge this, the uh, top ace bid, and uh, I'm sure she'll get it, she does pretty well. Well, I'm done talking. You want to go out and fly this thing? Yep. All right, let's do it. Thank you. Bye, Bye Stormy. It's so good. Go ahead and take that one and your cord. Don't forget what? The, we made it. It's smaller. It's not smaller. Bring it. Easy grip one, though. Just test it out. Good? Can you print two? Can you cover them Yeah, go ahead and print two. Let's do it. John, you ready? Mm -hmm. That was one. circles right here. That's where you're going to want to put your fingers and that's where the CD is going to be. Yep. Yeah. Get your mic on.
for your first flight. <laughs> And because uh, now you got the stabilizers now in the back, it, it wasn't washing out as much. Yeah. Especially with this wind, that was crazy. So what do you think? I think it flew nicely. Here, this is yours. Okay. You hold it. I think if I just practice a little more with flying, I'd do it really well. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You did amazing. You should be very proud of yourself. Thank you. Well, Stormy, you're in the books now. Um, I'm not sure what plane number this is. It might be 10. Daniel, do you know how many do we have? How many planes? Yeah, that we have in the store. 10 to 15. 10 to 15? So this is definitely, if you guys want something that um, is a little more slow fly, big old surfaced wings, and uh, you could definitely throw a lot more stuff on there. We were just floating yeah. that thing in for, uh, <laughs> with the wind, it's a lot of fun. Um, this kit will be sold at Altitude Hobbies. Stormy's name will be all over it. She <laughs> catted everything to prototyping, to um, developing the final push. And you did a really, really good job. Thank you. you. should be proud of yourself. Her name will be in the Mesa books forever. Now, <laughs> you were able to do two with me. Uh -huh. I think with a little more training, yeah. you'll definitely be able to do the top eights. And this will be easy to land, too. Yeah, super easy to land. <laughs> Not like the other ones where they just want to shoot down. Yeah. So this is because the surface area is so big. But excellent job. Thank you. Go buy it. Support the program.